Hi, it's Jonathan from Pet Massage. Today we're going to be talking about doing rehabilitation massage with dogs. This is Winston, and Winston is a mess. <laughs> Let me bring Liz in. I'm going to ask her to find out a little bit of Winston's story. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you Okay. Very much. So tell me, uh, what brought Winston in here today? Winston has a lot of problems, and so I don't know if it's just one, but the most recent thing that happened to him is he slid down the stairs. Okay. Slid backwards, forwards? He slid. He has luxating patellas. Okay. So he had surgery on one, but he didn't have surgery on the other. Okay. So he's got a weakness in his legs, and he was going up the stairs, and then his legs gave out on him, so he just slid. Just slid just back. Slid straight without okay. flipping over or anything like that, and he injured his neck. Oh my. Okay. So we're gonna so we're gonna work on the whole dog. Okay. Uh, and does your vet know that he's here getting a massage yes. today? Okay, good. So it's important with rehabilitation massage that we worked with either with the vet's referral or with their knowledge because what massage is, is a complement to veterinary care. All right. Thank you. If you'd like to take a seat, we're just, uh, oh. Winston and I are just going to play here. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to just start with making a connection. And I do this by just placing my hands on him, and I'm, I just want Winston to feel comfortable in my hands. And uh, he's moving in toward me. He's looking at me with his eye. <laughs> and he's waving at me with his, with his tongue. <laughs> oh, sweetie. So what I'm doing now is I'm just observing my breath, slowing my heart rate, and as I become more comfortable and more move into a, a slight meditation, then Winston is just kind of like settling down with me. So obviously in a five minute video, I'm not gonna be able to do a full body uh, massage with him, but I just wanna show you a couple of things that, we, that rehabilitation is all about, and it's all about maintaining, uh, reestablishing a quality of life for the dog. So we're gonna see if we can optimize this dog's quality of life as good as it can be. He'll never be uh, perfect, but then none of us are ever perfect. So what we're going to do is work with what is here, this little hot mess, and we're just going to bring him some comfort, increase flexibility, increase flow of all of the fluids in the body, increase awareness of personal space, help him become more comfortable, essentially make him happy. And that's done with touch and this done with being present for the dog. Winston here is a, he just feels very fragile. And so my touch is very light and gentle. So what I'm doing here, and you'll remember this from past videos, is I'm breathing through my hands. That's the part where I take my hand like this and as I inhale, my, hand, my palms spread. As I exhale, my palms contract. So we're gonna be doing that and just kind of breathing through my hands, giving him a sense of control. And then as, he do it, as, he, as we do that, move over the, his body, breathing into his body with my hands, then what that'll do is that will increase the circulation to all of the muscles and tissues. He had an issue, I remember Liz told me, with his patella here. Now I'm not going to treat or fix anything, but we can bring some comfort to that area. And maybe a little bit of more control ease of movement, more mobility. Now, just breathing here, I felt his little patella, the kneecap, kind of shift and go pop in my palm. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna take that as a sign as a, as a shift. I'm gonna come back here and work on, on the hips, because his hip, he wasn't standing very straight. And I'm just gonna breathe. Work on the shoulders. Notice the, the, I noticed when, he, when he's standing before that this one paw turns out a little bit. So he's going to, so this, he's not walking straight on. It's one of the things I noticed with injured dogs is they're going to have a, their alignment isn't correct. So there's a, a lack of symmetry in their stance. If this were a bigger, stronger dog, it would be a totally different kind of massage. But we're just working with a very fragile, lots of, what is that stuff? Is that from your eyes? Thank you very much. Okay. So we're just going to do some just gentle touches here. 
Liz mentioned uh, before we went on camera that his, his jaw is all off kilter. So I'm just going to place my fingers underneath, underneath here in the jaws. I'm just going to breathe into the temporal mandibular joints and see if we can get a little bit of movement there. Evidently, that's the reason why his tongue kind of hangs out like that. Okay, so we are, he's a little, he's processing. That, that little kind of chaotic motion there is, is processing, but he's looking at me, he's breathing, he's not stressing out at all. He seems to be enjoying this. I'm feeling a tremendous amount of heat flowing into both of my palms, especially uh, my left palm, your right. Okay, and we're just going to slow that down. So again, the whole point of this is to bring back uh, quality of life, helping the dog regain some control over their, their musculature, feel comfortable in breathing, feel comfortable in walking. And we just got a little gurgle. I don't know. If, did you hear that in the in the camera? That was amazing. So that we would we would call that a a release of the digestive tract, which releases everything. So uh, there's a brain in the gut, and that is connect and that is communicating with the brain up here and the brain all over the body. So that was the release that I was waiting for, and that is a very quick version of a rehab massage. So if you like what you see. In the videos, uh, please subscribe to our channel, and that's at Pet Massage Training and Research Institute. If you'd like more information, you can look at our website, and that's at petmassage.com. And if you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them in person. You can contact me or uh, text us. You can get all the information on our website. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.